Ah, I'm super excited for this video today because if you're watching this, you probably just heard about System.io, or you're curious about it, or you just signed up for the platform and you have no idea what you're looking for. So what I wanna do in this video is give you the bird eye overview of the dashboard of System.io so that I can show you all the possibilities you have with this platform. If you're new here, my name is Rihanna. I help small business owners just like you to set up simple systems so that you can save time, attract more clients and grow with ease. If this is something you're interested in, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming tutorials. All right, if you're ready, let's dive in. I said it already, but I'm so excited to show you this platform because it has made such a big difference in my business. Um, in the beginning, when I started, I had like, I think at least 10 different platforms that I used and had to log in on a daily basis. There was a scheduling, there was an email marketing, there was a course building, there was a CRM system and all these platforms were not working together. It was a huge crime until one day somebody told me about system.io and I was a bit skeptical because first of all, the price is crazy cheap or you can even sign up for a free account, which I've done the first one and a half year of my business. I just ran on my free account and then I wanted to have some other extra and add-ons that I could only have with the paid account and it was so worth it <laughs> to start paying for it. But the other thing is also it has all everything in one place. And I was skeptical about it, like that doesn't work. Usually when a platform has one focus or one uh, thing, you feel like they can do better at one. But the thing with system.io is because everything is in one platform, all the systems, everything is so easily easy connected with each other. And the design and the editing is so smooth because it's the same for my email marketing as for my newsletters, as for my course building. So this is also for my clients so helpful because they only have to learn one system once and then they're done for the rest of their life. And this is really a platform that keeps growing with you. So what I wanna do now, I wanna take you through, this is one I set up just for the tutorial video. So you have an idea what you enter when you sign up. So this is the dashboard here. You're going to see all the live updates from all the people that are going to buy your products, your services, but also when they subscribe to an opt-in page to when they pay for an affiliate link, everything is going to be shown here. This is in your dashboard. They've added the CRM last year and I love it because the contact page was there already. So if we click on it, you're going to have a collection of all your contacts here. You can easily sort them. Uh, I go in way much more deep depth. I have from all these things, I have separate videos. So don't worry about that. You can easily find it back. I have a document under this video that has the links to all these other different tutorial videos. That's going to be very helpful. But what I've added um, is pipelines and calendar. This was not there. So before I was using scheduling tools like Equity or Calendly. And now the calendar is integrated and I love it. It's so simple to set up. And uh, again, I just want to give you a bird's eye view in this video. Um, I have videos about all these different things separately. There are the pipeline, which is, um, I'm going to show you. You can take your leads from one place to another. So you can keep track of them because that is the problem a lot of times when we start having more and more leads we don't know which part of the business they are so you add them here and you can say okay I had contact with them I've sent them a proposal we're talking we had a deal whatever it is and you can add all of this of course I have a video about that as well about pipelines and tags are very great because the moment you put a tag to a contact when they come in and all of this is automated you can say when they receive that tag, I want to send an email or I want to give them access to a course or I want to revoke access from a course. There's so many opportunities and possibilities that you can do with tags in combination with automations. And yeah, that, that's incredible. And that makes my life so much easier because everything I do is automated. And so these things are very valuable. And then in sites, this is kind of the foundation of a uh, system that I where a lot of people are coming from. You can build a website, you can build funnels, and you can build now since a couple of months, digital stores, which is really awesome because if you're just starting out, I would recommend you start with a digital store that you connect 
can connect to your social media. So you don't have to have a website. You don't have to have funnels. The store is guiding you through everything step by step. And it's super simple to set it up and you have something to get started. And then in the meantime, you can start building your website and or just testing out first your products. You know, um, why building a whole business if it's not proven yet? Sometimes it's good to have just a minimum viable product. And that's great possibility with the digital store. And then in emails, we have newsletters. So these are something that you can schedule ahead of time. Every Wednesday, for example, I'm sending a newsletter to my community. I usually write on the first Monday of the month, I write four newsletters. Then I schedule them for that month. And if something comes in between or there's something in the news that I want to address, I just postpone the newsletter that I had planned for that week. And I write a news, new newsletter in between. Then the campaigns, I was very confused in the beginning about newsletters and campaigns, but a campaign is something that you can send automatically once they opt in for something. So for example, if you have a freebie and they're like, I want to have that freebie, they receive that freebie and then you can connect a campaign to it. So the moment they sign up for that freebie, whatever day of the year that is, they immediately going to receive like five to seven emails in a certain order after that opt-in to... Uh, show you the products, the services, and everything else that you're offering besides that freebie. Does that make sense? So that is what a campaign is for. And the statistics are very valuable once you start getting the hang of it and have some more data and information to make decisions based on that data and not on your feelings like, oh, it doesn't work or it works or whatever it is. We always want to come from data. So that's the statistics are great for that. And then the automations, you have two options. You can do it in rules or in workflows. It's kind of working the same. It depends on what you prefer. I like rules. So in rules, you can literally say, I'm going to show you. There's a trigger, for example, there's a tag added. And then what is the action you want it to do? You want it to subscribe to a campaign that we just talked about. Do you want it to send an email and roll in a course? Um, there are so many or add them to one of the stages in the pipeline that I just showed you here at the CRM. So this gives you so much time, power and everything back uh, on automations. I have clients coming in. No, I have customers from my clients coming in. My clients don't even know they do their one on one work. But in the meantime, they're also making money from courses, from guides, from products that they've been building. So it's such a great way to, yeah, sort of passive income. Of course, passive income, I find that doesn't really exist because you still need to do offer customer support. If you don't, your business is not going to hold very long and um, you still need to create it first, right? So it's not really passive, but having things work while you're asleep and you wake up in the morning and things have been just running and people have been informed with emails and everything, that's just great. And then um, here we have the assets. So you can sell physical products. I've never done that myself. I have no clients who are selling physical products. If they do, a lot of times they sell it on other platforms such as Amazon. Um, but this is definitely an option here. You can create coupon codes. Uh, I usually create coupon codes for myself for a 100% discount so I can go through my whole funnel to see if it's correct. But I also create coupon codes for Black Friday or summer 10% off, things like that. This is the course builder. Oh my gosh, guys, I love the course builder. Um, I have a video about all of this and how to set it up. It's so cool that to have that integrated. There are not so many platforms who have the combination of and websites and funnels and email marketing and course building. So I love that. And there's the communities. They're still, I feel, working on it to improve that a bit. Um, but communities is a great way to get started where people can ask questions, uh, where they, you cannot see anything now because everything needs to be created. And that is so cool of them as well because um, when once you create something, they have a lot of templates here for the funnels as well. For example, you, you're thinking you have to start from scratch, but let's say if we have a, a sales um funnel and here we want to have an order form they have so many templates that you can already choose from that you can use as a foundation so that is incredible i love that 
And then we have files where all your uh, files are going to be stored. And then in sales, this is the best part at the end of the month to check and put in your bookkeeping, uh, the amount of orders, the transactions, transactions that have been done, subscriptions that have been made, uh, invoices from affiliates and your own affiliate program. You can set that up to like, and then they have the help. Uh, let's not forget this one because when I just got started, I had so many questions and the support team has been amazing. They answer within a couple of hours and they always are very rough and very in detail with screenshots explaining whatever you're dealing with to help you solve it. And it's been just such an amazing experience to have them at your back. And so I want to say for this video as well, if you have any questions or you're doubting about starting with System.io, uh, you can comment below and I can answer any question you have, but also know that you always have the back of the support team and they are amazing. Now, and then you have here, if you click on your profile photo on settings, here you have all the information, all the settings that you can set up. I have different videos about that, about setting up your email, setting up, setting up connecting your domain name. You have integrations with Zoom, with uh, Google, with Excel. Um, sorry google sheets google calendar um and like yeah it's it's amazing here for the payment gateways you can connect easily everything is so easy and that makes it so much fun to run your business because this is the only platform in the morning that i log into i have everything in one overview I know my sales, I know the fun, like everything is there. I love it. I love, love, love it. And now they have so many different uh, languages available that makes it also for everybody around the world so accessible. And I love that because um, what they've done one month ago, since recording of this video, they reduced their price. It's insane because they keep improving. There is like Every couple of weeks, there's a new feature that they put out based on what the audience has given them, like us as customers telling them like, hey, we would like this, we miss this. They are implementing all these different requests from us. And then when I say us, because I really feel part of the team, even though I don't know how many thousands or hundred thousands of uh, customers they have for that platform. But um Instead of saying, hey, we made so many changes, it's the platform is so much better than it was like two years ago, which it is, uh, we increased the price. No, they decided to decrease the price from $27 to $17. It's ridiculous, seriously. But I love them for that because they're setting the tone for a business that I want to be connected with. This is the kind of business I want to run, not about being cheap, but about being there for the customer and make it work um, and especially for us as small business owners, right? We now have a chance to get started um, instead of having to invest like other platforms. I'm not going to name names, but they are charging like $300 a month. It's so hard in the beginning to become profitable. And if you also have an expense of $300 a month on top of all your other expenses, it's just causing a lot of stress. And as a small business owner, that's not what you want to have to deal with. You want to deal with your customers and, and your marketing and creating new clients and system.io offers that. So yeah, love, love, love it. I can highly recommend it. You're not going to regret it. Like I said, start with a free account. There's a link below my video. Um, this is my affiliate link. Uh, that's the only way that I can make a little bit of money on all the videos that I'm putting out here. And uh, I can highly recommend you can start with a free account. Like I said, the first one and a half year in my business, I used the free account and I was totally fine with having one funnel, one website, one automation and one course. And it worked. So, yeah, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Always happy to help. I just love it. Okay, that was a really quick run through of the dashboard of system.io. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give some thumbs up and hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any upcoming tutorials. I've added a document below this video that has all the links that explain everything in detail, like really how to and tutorial videos. So if you listen to this video and you're like, oh, I want to build a course, you can literally go to launch a course and you see all the step-by-step -step videos that you can follow to set up that course. And the same for email marketing, for 
funnel building, for website building. And I'm working on all these videos and I'm creating more and more. And if you have any ideas or suggestions or things that you feel that are missing in that document, just drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure that they're going to be there. Well, next week. I think I can promise that. All right. Awesome. Okay. Check out the next video on how to connect your domain in system.io so that you can get started. The link is below the video.